I started out earlier by saying that I uh, reviewed the literature and from that summarized it into a set of characteristics which appear to define this otherwise uh, heterogeneous and unlabeled group. Then developed an interview which was structured by which those characteristics could be assessed reliably, then applied it to a group of patients, some of whom appeared to have this syndrome, and then others who had adjacent or bordering conditions. Schizophrenia at that time was considered to be a bordering condition, and depression. And then identified the characteristics which best distinguished people with borderline personality disorder, as it became to be known, from others. So, defined a syndrome, developed a reliable instrument for assessing it, identified the characteristics which best distinguish it, and a threshold which was optimal for differentiating it from others. So, yeah, at that time was something that had never been done for any personality disorder and was the first time that this particular disorder had actually been assessed and there was any method for doing it, let alone showing that it is distinct from others. We subsequently elaborated on that process by showing how borderline personality disorder was distinguished from other personality disorders and from bipolar disorder and from post-traumatic stress disorder and a whole series of other conditions with which it was sometimes overlapping or confused.